basically what I'm doing here is just real time. I guess I'll just show you guys how I do my I, I guess you call <coughs> etch technique, I guess. Um it's like a lot of what the common book uses, but I don't know, a lot of people will say, Well you're so sloppy or or something. I don't know, I don't know. I mean a lot of times it's it's very, you know, very straightforward and, and I just, I don't like doing it that way. <laughs> <coughs> so excuse me, so I don't. Um but yeah, like I a lot of like I grew up with, with comic book I love comic books. Um I'm a DC fan. Uh just because I just I don't know. D C for me it was it was a much more darker um universe. And of course we all know what that means, so you know, I was really attracted to Batman. Loved loved that comic. Um, I loved that whole series. Um, and of course, you know, it just I don't know, for some reason Batman always just stuck with me ever since I was eight, so uh ever since that now I, I remember as a kid, you know, I was able to go to a comic book store or just to the library and and was able to like read them, but I, I would read them, but I would just be there staring at the, uh, you know, just staring at the art, really. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, <coughs> so as I got older, you know, that, that followed, and then I got to like heavy metal and stuff like that, and, you know, and I just, then I was like, you know what, how in the hell are they even doing this? And then, so I even got more involved, and then that's when I was trying to figure out, okay, who are the artists? <laughs> and, uh, the second I started figuring out who the artists were, and who I was looking up to, and of course, first and foremost, what comes out of my mind is freaking Todd McFarlane. Um, dude, the guy's amazing, especially what he did with, like, freaking Venom and Spawn, and you know how he did the eyes for Spider-Man. I mean, yeah, he's he's a Marvel dude, which is totally fine. I like Marvel too. I just you know we all have a preference. Um, they just had a really good call, a lot of uh, characters too. Um, but uh, but anyway, so yeah, I was like, oh dude, you know, that guy got some skill. And so I picked up a comic book, picked up you know pens and paper. And I just started tracing, not, well not really tracing, but I, I started, um, you know, I guess you could call it <laughs> I I don't know, I just basically I just started copying. And I was just trying to figure out, okay, did that for like days on end, days on end, days on end. And just, you know, and then that's when, you know, the whole anatomy thing came into play and things like that. Because I, I didn't, I didn't have... I didn't have any means to like go get the anatomy books or you know even marvels how to how to draw comics or anything like that. Um, so I basically just read the comics, you know, um, and try to learn how to do it like that. And you know the old school comic books, you know, I just I really drawn to them. And Neil Adams, I mean, hell, that guy was a mastermind when it came to the you know the nineties you know, style, especially that I'm doing, I'm like, whoa, um, like, especially, like, Zach O'Barr, I think I'm saying advantage of the character of, uh, the creator of The Crow, I mean, damn, <laughs> so, you know, and then, of course, there's, like, you know, Mark Silveretti, there's, and, you know, of course, there's Jim Lee, I mean, there's just, there's numerous and numerous and numerous amount, like, or even, uh, Greg Capullo, I love that guy, too. Um, so, I, I really, I really looked up to a lot of them, but the one that really stuck to me the most was David Finch. David Finch, I caught him on, I think it was Batman, is when I first came across, because I remember he was also training Josh... Fobok, or Fob Fobok, I don't know how to say his name, but, um, yeah, those two guys, definitely very unique styles, um, you, <laughs> you could tell that, uh, you know, Josh was totally under reign of uh, David, but, uh, but yeah, so that guy, that guy's style really stuck out to me a lot, 
Um, so I I really just grabbed onto him and I started just I wanna I that's that's where I wanna be. I don't I wanna be right there. So I as you know, as years go on, you know, comic books and all that stuff and then black metal came in play and I was just like, Okay, cool and that was like at <laughs> <laughs> neighbor's house and the guy I know scary enough this is I can't really say this but the guy looked like Charles Manson scared the living crap out of me but I didn't at that time I didn't know who you know Charles Manson was or anything like that but he just had that he was scared but he was so cool so I whatever and I I'd go over his house and you know he had all cassettes and uh I came across you know of course there was you know Malice and Metallica in the mix and Ozzy Osbourne and all that stuff but then like I came to this one and I, and I was just like, what the hell? And, um, he's like, oh, you know, was, there's Bathory, there's Mayhem, you know, and Venom and all these, all these guys. And I was just like, and then he was talking about Hellhammer before I killed the Frost. And then he was talking about Put the Frost. And I was like, what the hell? So the whole bunch of stuff. And I just remember putting it in there and then that was it. And I was hooked ever since. So, um, and then they're saying, you know, like as the years go by, my, you know, my, my, my love for black metal started growing, and then that's when it produced me to being not only an artist but also a musician as well. And then, you know, the two just kind of went together. And then I was like, you know, there's got to be a way to like to make these infused, you know, like do like a do something. Got to figure something out. So. As, as I started getting into more bands and started figuring out who the hell it is that's going on there, um, that's when I came across <coughs> Mark Riddick. We all know who that guy is. So, that came across that dude, and oh my goodness, he is the king of death metal. Uh, death metal designs, and you know, also with black metal. He has some satanic black metal uh, designs out there too. And you know, I've watched several, uh, several interviews with that guy, and wow. Right, and then, um, so he introduced me to how to do, like, you know, album covers and logos and t-shirt designs and, I mean, all that, all that good, wicked stuff. And, um, so I was like, sweet, sweet, sweet. So I was like, alright, well, at that time my style really, you know, kind of represented, not represented, resembled his in a little bit. I'm like, oh dude, I gotta, like, not do that. And, so I was like, okay, I just gotta sit here and really own my skills, so why don't I just continue, you know, collaborating <clears throat> the whole old 90s um, feel to my comics, just like how they did in the 90s. So, I continued doing that, and it was just super, super cool. So I was like, alright, I'm gonna get these, I'm gonna get these together. So I've been doing this, actually, for quite some time. Um, I've done a, a lot of local bands, I've done bands that, you know, were overseas, I've done, I've done all, quite a few things, um, I'm just not, I'm just not recognized yet, um, but I'm very much on the local scene, especially where I live, um, there isn't, oh, where, where I, particularly where I live, it's not a whole bunch of black metal, it's a lot of heavy metal and, um, thrash metal, there's there's some there's some technical death. We got some kind of slam going on, but black metal in this area is just not heard of. So that's why with my project, you know, I'm you know, I got a, a whole bunch of group of really good guys together, really awesome friends, and uh, you know, trying to get my band to go live, which is gonna be really, really fun, but I, I do all the artwork for them, my my own band as well, I mean obvious. And so, um, yeah, so I just, I've always wanted to incorporate all that, and then, um, but back to what I'm saying, <laughs> kind of off topic here, uh, so, so I came across Mark, Mark Riddick, and, uh, that guy changed everything, and so, <laughs> I was like, I gotta, I gotta get into this, so I, I decided to, like, I want to do things for the mental band, so, you know, as we, as I, came to came to realize it's very saturated, so you have to definitely stand out. You gotta have your own little your own little thing, you have to have your own kind of groove and things like that. So I was like, alright. So and you know, I, I am <clears throat> I'm a little different, yeah, it is black and white. 
but it is a lot different than a lot of people's stuff. Um, so the other guy that I looked up at and I found out by Rick is is uh, Chris Monian. Um, he's he's over in Europe, so he's like you know Riddick's counterpart, like European counterpart, is what he said, which is just really awesome. Um, and his work is just oh wow, I I love his Baphomet, I love his Satanic Black Metal artwork, and, he, and yeah, he does a lot of black metal. So I think that that's really really cool. Um, so yeah, those two guys I definitely looked at, but with putting my whole spin on it from what I've learned. And what I was exposed to as a kid, you know, just the the nineties for me was, was very was, I mean, I was young, but I can I was young enough to remember. But it was very dark and very like I mean, all bunch of good movies came out, amazing albums came out. Um, you know, of course black metal really, you know, kicked off. I mean, it was just a really awesome decade. And I man, if anybody has to live, I'd be like, I'll be my 20s, my 30s, I don't care how old I was, it was as long as I was old enough to like realize what the hell is going on, and I would love to live in like eight, late 80s to to mid 90s, that was, that was a bomb, um, that would be so cool to, to experience that in an older, in an older light, you know, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how my style really came to be about, um, and then, now we fast forward to today, I'm just doing as many as, as, uh, as metal bands as I possibly can. Yeah, I'm really focused in the black metal community. Um, I, I always have, probably always will be. I definitely like that, that genre, and, you know, of course, subgenres, of, of course, you know, but, I mean, every metal is, they all have their thing, and I'm more than happy to do anybody's design, um, yeah, it just it is just something that I definitely resonate with. And the thing is, too, is you know having my own design, like having my own style to it, and you know letting people see it. I think it, I, I think it just always goes really well together. And so, yeah, I'm I uh, I I'm very drawn to the whole misconception of reality and not reality but religion. And so I. <laughs> I'm really drawn to drawing demonic priests and <laughs> all that fun stuff, um, you know, Blasphemet, you know, uh, Satan, the devil, whoever you feel that you want to call him, um, you know, Lucifer, I, I see him Lucifer all the time, so, I mean, that's, that's what I draw, that's what I'm mainly drawn to, um, but I take these tracks that, that I've heard for a long time, or, you know, even, like, the newer and upcoming ones, I, I definitely love doing Underground, um, the one band that are not very known, because, you know, it, they do, they, they work really hard trying to get their music out there and trying to get heard, and, and it's, you know, it's a lot, it's all passion and love, and it, it does, it takes, it takes a lot. You know, I know, I'm, I'm on both ends, I'm on both ends of it, so, and, uh, so that's why it's, it's just, it's really nice to actually be a part of, of it all, you know, I, I get, I get to not only be <coughs> a painter, or I should say an illustrator, I also, you know, get to be in it as a musician as well, but it's technically, it's all, you know, it's all an artist, <coughs> excuse me, but, yeah, it's just, it's really, it's really fun, and I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do, and, and what I do for the community, um, but yeah, I, I basically take a track, and I make great artwork out of it, and, uh, and of course, you know, every credit goes to the band, and to their hard work, um, and I give it to them, um, just because, like, it's just, just me saying, hey, thanks for doing what you do, and I enjoy your music, and, you know, I'm always looking forward to more. Um, I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's always good to give back. Um, you know, I think it, especially if it's something that you're passionate about, and, you know, if you have a gift, 
you know, just, just do it. I'm not saying, you know, always give it away, but I'm just saying that, you know, just, just, just out of a, you know, a, just the thanks. You know, but, yeah, like, like I do, like, you know, I, I have to run a business, so, yeah, I do, I do one piece, and then, you know, if they want to hire me for more, then, then, yeah, absolutely. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I, what I do, and I try to, that's why I try to, like, stick out from the crowd, you know, um, because, yeah, I mean, I have an imagination, obviously, uh, but, uh, but a lot of times, you know, we artists, the inspiration kind of runs thin sometimes, so it's like, okay, well, what are, what are we going to do, and, you know, what, what, what's, what's going to happen, and, so yeah, that's why I really resonate in, towards, towards the tracks of, of the bands that I like, and, and I just, especially when the lyrics really sing out to me, or really touch me in some way, I'm just like, yeah! You know, I love it. I love it a lot, and it's just it's it's just so much fun. It, it it's a blast being on both ends, you know. But but yeah, I mean that's I mean we all we all evolve in our crafts, you know. And I evolved in as being an artist, and I also am I'm trying to evolve as being a musician as well. Even though I've I've played drums since I was ooh. 19, 18, somewhere around there, so, um, so yeah, that's, that's fun. The guitar, I have, but I, I, I didn't really, you know, I, I started playing when I was 10, but I didn't really, like, I don't know how you say it, I didn't dive hardcore into those, in, in the guitar, I dived way into drums, and, you know, if you, if you're familiar with my music, you can tell. I'm very, you know, I, I just play what I feel, and, uh, yeah, some, some people like it, some people don't, and that's okay, that is totally a-okay, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do, and I, you know, I like it, I think it's, I think it's fun, and I have a blast, and, yeah, and, so it's just the same way with, with my art, you know, it's, it's always been, it's always been there with me, and I've never had any special training, uh, I never had a mentor, I kind of just learned everything on my own, um, you know, uh, as when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have the internet, I didn't have the internet, I know, it's so weird, this is going to show you how old I am, anyway, um, yeah, so I had, I had books and comics, and that was totally fine with me. Sometimes, even to this age, I still just resonate a full. I go right back to, you know, the books and comics. But, um, but with the internet today, <coughs> yeah, I, I look up stuff and, you know, especially like Proco, which is really pretty cool, our channel. Um, definitely for, like, anatomy and stuff, to check them out if you need to. Super cool stuff. But, um, but yeah, like, even, even the greats even the great comic book artists like Jim Lee, like David Finch, um, they all have our channels now, so you get to see them, you know, draw and, and create, and I think that that is, like, one of the coolest things ever, and, uh, so I've totally fangirled all out, all out on, on those guys, and, uh, yeah, super, super cool, super fun, and, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just how it goes. Like, I, I've been wanting to, I mean, I'll admit it, I'll, I was, I've always wanted to sit down and watch Riddick paint, or draw, I should say draw, yeah, he doesn't paint. Um, but, like, there was a little snippet of him sitting at his table, and on YouTube, and I thought that was really cool, and I think that was the one for autism. So, um, autism awareness, and that was, that was cool. That was really neat. Um, but yeah, I just, so many great artists that have been in the industry for so long, and, uh, you know, it, it, and it doesn't matter, comic book, uh, death metal illustrator, um, it, <clears throat> it's all art, it just, you know, it's just in a different form, and, but, like, I, I just really wanted to collaborate both of them, 
and which I did, which I've been doing, and so I'm just trying to just get out there a little bit more, and you know, w and utilize the internet and see if I can just help more bands, you know, because when I do the tracks and stuff like that, I I put them all on the socials, you know, and I try really hard to get them out there and I push for them, and and I just want to support. Um, it's almost like I said, it's a lot of hard work. And, and it takes a lot of drive and compassion and love. And so, it's pretty neat. I'm not trying to go on wishy dishy on you guys, I'm just saying. It's, it's cool. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so able to, able to create, you know, create, like, there was, there's oh, one dude I said, and he said, you know, I love it when artists created some art. And that was a really cool co uh, compliment, you know? It's like, and it is. It's, it's just the neatest thing ever. So, I did that, and I was like, hell yeah, hell yeah, you know, I'm sorry, can't, you know, cuss, but, uh, hopefully I don't get flagged for that, but anyway, um, yeah, it's just, it's super fun, and I like, I love doing this type of stuff for people, and for bands mainly, and like I said, you know, it's just, it's a super cool, super cool lifestyle, um, I love being an artist, I love being a musician, I love being able to share with you guys. Um, especially, you know, it is pretty cool when you get to see something come to light, you know, like what I'm doing right here. It is pretty neat to see it come, come to life, you know. Um, but this is just a little, a little, you know, I, w I don't know if you can call it a tutorial because I'm not really telling you everything what I'm doing, but <laughs> you get the gist. I'm still new to these old video things. And they always say, like, the first 40 or something like that, so, I'm just being me, I'm just being as real as I can, you know, I'm not, just, just being me. <coughs> so anyway, so this is it, and, uh, so this is how I just, I do things, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure that people can say, hey, your art looks like this, or hey, you got that from there, and there. Or whatever, but it's, I mean, every artist is inspired by somebody. And, and regardless as to what, what it is, you know, um, everybody, everybody is, regardless. So, yeah, I, I have taken things that, that inspired me from other artists, and I've just made it my own. Um, I think that that's really fun to do, and, and uh, yeah, so, there you go, there you have it. But, uh, but yeah, it's just, it's, like I said, it's just really, really fun. I really love being a part of the community. And, um, I love hanging out, you know, with you guys and stuff like that. Showing you my art process and, and things, but, um, yeah, so this, this one was just, you know, just to kind of give you a slow-mo as to how I, how I do it instead of it going too <laughs> fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just a, this is just a piece that I wanted to throw together. So, um, well, thanks for watching, and of course, this is Scholar Star Art with Amanda, because I did not say this at the beginning, so everybody have a good weekend.